Welcome to Embolden Youth. Today's question, can offense ruin my life? At any age, learning to not take offense is a challenge, but if you can train yourself to keep offense far from your heart, it will secure your path to go in a forward motion. Think of a river. When offense comes in, the river gets blocked and is unable to flow. We are not designed to take things personally. The Bible makes it clear that we will be persecuted. Not everyone will like us and... The ones who do like us may say or do some things that are displeasing or insulting. When this happens, how you respond matters because offense can lead to bitterness, thinking you are always right, and having a hard, stubborn heart. Proverbs 18 verse 19 says, A brother offended is harder to win over than a fortified city, and contention separating families are like the bars of a castle. If we look at Proverbs 19 verse 11, it says, Good sense and discretion make a man slow to anger, and it is his honor and glory to overlook a transgression or an offense without seeking revenge and harboring resentment. Once offense comes in, you can actually gain hatred towards another person, in so much so that you can end up betraying a good friend, a mentor, or even a family member. Here's how this works. Usually something is said or done to you or to another person. Let's use promotion as an example. You see another person getting what you believe you should have, And that feeling is called taking offense. And if it's not dealt with quickly, the offense could turn into jealousy and envy. James 3 verses 14 to 16 says, But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not be arrogant and as a result be in defiance of the truth. This superficial wisdom is not that which comes down from above, but is earthly, secular, natural, unspiritual, even demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder, unrest, rebellion, and every evil thing and morally degrading practice. Forgiveness is a state of being, and if you want direct, clear communication with God, forgiveness is an absolute requirement. If we take a look at the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 25, it says, When you stand to pray, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him. Then your Father in heaven will forgive your sins also. James 5, verse 16 says, Therefore, confess your sins to one another, your fault steps, your offenses, and pray for one another that you may be healed and restored. The heartfelt and persistent prayer of a righteous man can accomplish much when put into action and made effective by God. It is dynamic and can have tremendous power. I think God has made his point. Taking offense can absolutely ruin a person's life. All right, let's recap what we went over today. Number one, we will have many opportunities in life to take offense. It's how we deal with it that makes the difference. Number two, forgiveness is a state of being and it is our true nature. When we forgive, our Heavenly Father forgives us. Confession and heartfelt persistent prayer is what will take us out of offense and keep us in right relationship with God. Great learning, and we'll see you in the next one.